Welcome back to 30B. So that was probably what we got. Put the eggs up there. Put our saplings in here. Don't be stingy. Give me all of the saplings. Well, two works. It's better than we had. Three is even better than two. Which means we could probably make a big jungle tree again. Uh, yes, we can. Big Spruce, Giant Sacred Oak, alright so, three steel rods, one steel plate, a steel, I have a steel plate, Three steel rods and a flint. And what do we do with it? We need a small steel spring and a small steel gear. Uh, we make that with our saw, wire cutter, and our so wire cutter, saw, it's going to be saw there file there, wire cutter there, and one of these here. And I think I said I needed two. No, I only need one. Okay. All right, so we got that. Now, small steel gear. That's where the other two come in. Uh... That's just going to be wire cutter, plate, steel, and we're going to need our hammer. Small steel gear. Okay. So we've got all the parts and pieces. Now we just need to make the flint and steel, which is the... Steel gear on top, flint in the middle, spring on the bottom. Ta da! That is kind of like true flint and steel. Uh, true uh, lighter type thing. You just need a fuel source. Okay. And with that comes our ability to make all kinds of charcoal. What do we want here? Let's do this. The ball of moss does us no good. But but see, look. Bronze plate, steel rotors, brick wrought iron oven, charcoal pile igniter. We can make charcoal. Um, those up there, that up there. Ball of moss. Which doesn't help us. Right? A creeper head, okay. And a delighted meal. Make sure it didn't drop anything in them. Alright, so that goes there. You go there. You go there. You go there. Uh, this can hang out here for now. Just remember where it is. All right. So, do I have a brick rod iron hole? 
No, I have a brick bronze hull. Figures. All right. I'm not going to get into making the charcoal boiler right now. The charcoal. Uh, we need to make a steam extractor. We need some bronze plates. Uh, not a lot in here. How much of the bronze do we have over here? Bronze small pipes. We have five. Okay. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Alright, so the eight of those make the brick bron or the bronze hull. Let's okay, there's nothing that says. So these eight with this bronze. And then these six Why even pick those up? I'm just going to put five back in it. All right, so these six make small bronze pipes. I need a glass and a piston. There's a glass. There's a piston. All right, so you need this, you need this, you need this, you need that, and you need that, and we have the steam extractor. All right, so in addition to the steam extractor, we're also going to want its upgrade, like almost immediately. And by almost, I mean, yeah, right now. So two wrought iron plates, five wrought iron, and a steel plate. Wrought iron pipes. Did we have any? I think we did. Yeah, we have three. All right, so we need some more wrought iron. How are we doing here? Can I do... That's... Two, four, six, and get two plates out of it. Wow, we have just enough wrought iron. Hammer time that. Uh, These give me a steel plate. 
Let's make some wrought iron pipes. So it's going to be that, it's going to be that, and that, and that, and then it's going to be five of these. Bam. And then this put there. This we can put in here. We're up to four. Oops. Okay, so now this high pressure extractor. Ooh, that's one of the high high end, like blue steel mortars, isn't it? Yep, blue steel. Level four, oak fancy sign. Uh, did not drop anything in those. Oak fancy sign goes in miscellaneous wood stuff. Got got some stuff. Okay. So it wants us to make or to get. You may have found plenty of mud piles around the wetlands and thought of them as annoyances when jumping over them. So we want to get mud. And we know where there is mud, so let's go dig it up. Let's make sure it's daytime first, and then go dig it up. We found some over at the end of our island. What is this? Was a freaking creeper. Ranged weapons, I like them. And this one's not bad. Not bad at all. Hits for 9 to 11. Yep, like that. I wonder if it's the crossbow itself or if it's the bolt that does the bulk of the damage. Combination, maybe? All right, mud. How many do we need? A stack? Yes. Notice how they don't flow like the rest of the stuff does? That's because they're mud. may have found plenty of mud piles around the wetlands and thought of them as annoyances when jumping in the water or for that arm. Waste not. With your new extractor, you can pull out the clay hidden in the mud. Okay. How to make rubber. 
We need 10 obsidian. Then we get a full imp skin armor. Iron golem. Okay. Let's go home. With our new extractor, we can get the clay out of the mud. One at a time. Okay. Good to know. You can go up there. Let's see what's in you. Uh, okay. Play. Twenty three rosin right now, and we're going to need more, like lots more. I get I didn't get it it's sitting up here thank you It was suggested to me that you can get rosin when you cut these trees down. So it was suggested that I make a small forest of them and use and, and just keep growing and cutting them down and growing and cutting them down. And that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Because you get a chance of getting rosin when you cut them down. got no saplings out of that, but we probably got all of our saplings out of our initial harvest of the leaf. So let's go over here and take a look at what saplings we have available. Nineteen of them. It's pretty good. So if we were to plant these here for now,
planting any there. We still have eight left. We still have three left. So let those grow. Put that in there. Grab our forestry. Pick those out. Uh, those can go there, those can go there. We'll let these grow, and then we will chop them down. I don't remember what you can use for, or what you can use rubber wood for. You can use four rubber wood. Wow. Uh, we can make a coffin out of rubber wood. Nice. There's some things in shaped crafting that we can do with it. Long wood sticks. Better barrels. You can't use rubber wood for everything, so but you can use it for some. The wooden armor, we could have made that. Uh, we can make all kinds of wood pulp out of it. Use it for fuel. It's kind of a waste, though, isn't it? Because, yeah, it doesn't make planks. It's better to make two planks out of one than no planks. Uh, the thing is, yeah, we end up with quite a bit of it. That goes up there. Go there. You go there. You go there. I'm pretty sure all of our birch is over here. Uh, four more mud balls. I know it's dark out. We will sleep in a minute. Let's see how we're doing over here in our extractor. Not bad. So getting clay out of our extractor and sleeping. Okay. Ten obsidian. Ten obsidian to make a nether portal. I do not want it close to our base. I should say, I do not want it too close, too close to our base. So let's make it here.
Okay, that will work. Let's go get our flint and steel so we can ignite it. Whatever was up here just disappeared. Like just now. Let our rubber tree plantation do its work. I can put this back. For a second, I was like, what was I looking for? It came back for our flint and steel. So we can light the nether portal. And then, just for... Just because... We'll go in and come back out because that's what it tells us to do. Huh. Bunch of ash blocks. I think I see some cobalt over there, but we're not at a point where we can use cobalt. Small pieces of nether quartz we can use, though. All right, that's going to be it for 30B. Let's go back home. Got them both. So let's go back home, and that's going to be it for 30